Hi everyone, this is Marlon and as usual I am back with a new tutorial and this time I will be showing quickly how I do digital line arts and paint tool side and illustrator. First I will be starting with paint tool side. I am going to use the pencil line art that I created in one of my previous tutorials which I have scanned in to use for this video. So first I will set the opposite of this picture to about 30% or lower. This way the picture gets lighter and makes it easier to see what you are doing. In paint tool side you can add normal layers like in Photoshop but you can also add line art layers which I will be using for line arts of course. So I pick a um, line art layer and in this special type of layer you get different tools than in the normal layers. These tools are especially made to create these clean line arts. And I mainly use the curve tool. Uh, since I have shaky hands this tool is perfect for doing line arts in which you need very straight lines like buildings. So here you can see you can make very straight lines with the curve tool. And if you're like me and can't really keep your hands still then this is the perfect tool to start with. I am now going to do the outer parts of this drawing, so I will do a quick time lapse here. Once I have done that, I'm going to switch to the pen tool to draw the face, folds and other details. I do this with the pen tool because as you can see the curve tool makes the line art look a bit mechanical and emotionless and with the pen tool it feels more like you are drawing yourself. So you can add more emotions and more of your own style in parts where they are needed and where you do not need to worry about having shaky hands. At this point I am not satisfied yet with this line art. As you can see the parts I did with the curve tool are kinda stiff and everywhere you can see the same line thickness. In order to add more variation in the lines I use the following tools. The weight tool and the pressure tool. I first use the weight tool. With this you can make the lines thicker and thinner by clicking on them. I prefer to make the lines thicker with the weight tool. If the lines are thick, it's more easier to adjust them later with the pressure tool, which I will be using after this. When you choose the pressure tool, there will be dots all over the lines. By clicking on the dots and dragging them, you can adjust the line thickness as well. With the pressure tool, you can add more variations to the lines and choose which parts should be thick and which parts should be thin. So this was a quick demonstration on how I create a line art in paint tool side. Now I'm going to show you how I do a quick line art in illustrator. So now I've opened Adobe Illustrator 
And I must say though that I also just recently started with Illustrator, so I am also a bit of a beginner here. But I just wanted to explain quickly how I do line arts in here. Those who have used Illustrator know that it might take a little while to get used to it since it works differently from other art programs. In Illustrator, you can create line arts using the pen tool and the brush tool. In this tutorial, I will be using the brush tool. So I open a new document and I add in the same drawing from before. By going to File and then Place. Then I will rescale this picture to make it bigger. And just like in Paint Sai, I change the opacity. If you use Illustrator for the first time, you may have noticed that the brush tool can be a bit tricky in the beginning. If you sometimes try to make a simple drawing, like a heart, each line you put will disappear or change when you put another line close to it. This can be quite frustrating. So I double click on the brush tool and I get a menu. When you first start Adobe Illustrator you see that in this menu the edit selected pass is checked. Because of this Illustrator will keep on editing each line you draw. So make sure you uncheck edit selected path. Another thing that is different in Illustrator from programs like Photoshop, Painter and Sai is that there is no pen pressure. At least not in the beginning. So pick the brush tool and go to the menu on the far right. Click on brushes and you get a small menu. Then you click on the small arrow upper right and pick brush options. Now go to the diameter section below and pick pressure in the drop down menu beside it. Then you adjust diameters and pull the variation to the far right. Now you have pen pressure. Now we can finally start on creating a line out in Illustrator with the brush tool. You might need to uncheck the edit selected pass option again in the brush menu when you pick a new brush sh shape. So make sure to check that before you start. Now you can pick any color you want for the line out and start drawing. A nice thing about Illustrator is that for people with shaky hands like me, it autocorrects the lines and changes them into very nice clean straight lines, so you do not need to worry too much about drawing clean lines yourselves. Also, when you zoom in on your line art in Illustrator, no matter how close you get, the lines always stay clean and sharp. This is because Illustrator works with vectors. In other programs like Sai and Photoshop, the line art gets more blocky and less smooth, which is one of the main reasons Illustrator is being used in the professional field so much. Now I will finish this line art and add in a time lapse, so please enjoy. tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions for my tutorials, please leave a comment below. And the idea with the most thumbs up will be turned into a tutorial next time.
For the next tutorial I will be showing how to draw glasses, which was a suggestion from, uh, I hope I say this correctly, Izumi's Alpiste. So, till next time, bye!